On All Souls Day, we look to the earth where loved ones were laid to rest. On All Saints Day, we look to heaven where loved ones by God are blessed.
Mary raged with Jesus. How well did Mary know Jesus? The start of John 11 reminds us this was the same Mary who anointed Jesus' feet with oil and wiped them with her own hair. The same Mary you see depicted in the stained glass window over our high altar. The Mary who sat at Jesus' feet while her sister Martha worked. This Mary and her siblings, Martha and Lazarus, had welcomed Jesus to their home many times. I'm certain she was spiritual, thoughtful, religious. Born into a first century world, Mary knew who she should call when someone fell ill. Not a friend, not a doctor, but the first century equivalent of sanctioned health care, her priest. Back then, the clergy were who you called the ones who told you what to do when you were in crisis. Take two doves, have them sacrificed on the high altar, then call me in the morning. God was the only solution out there. Priests held the deck of cards. Mary knew this. Knew her great high priest had worked miracles, so Mary and her sister sent a message. Master, the one you love so well, is ill. Jesus got that message, but he didn't stop, drop everything, and run to Lazarus' bedside. He lingered, we're told, in the gospel, for three whole days. Why? Was Jesus in the midst of a major theological debate? Healing dozens of people sicker than Lazarus? We don't know. We do know that by the time Jesus got to Bethany, it was all over. Lazarus was dead. Everyone Mary and her friends, were told, wept. And what did Jesus do? Today's translation tells us Jesus was greatly disturbed in spirit, deeply moved. Such polite, calm language. The Greek says otherwise. The word in Greek here in this passage usually refers to a horse. How when a horse snorts, its entire body shakes. We've all experienced this kind of disturbance in spirit. Grief so deep, our entire body shakes with sorrow. We're told in the shortest verse in the Bible, verse 35, Jesus wept. How so? Again, a better translation of the Greek is Jesus burst into tears. Jesus' humanity rings clearer than in any other text. Jesus loved Lazarus, and the loss of that love wrapped his soul. 
King James, she said, Lord, he sticketh. <laughs> but Jesus insisted, exclaimed, God's glory will be revealed, prayed, then yelled, Lazarus, come out. And out Lazarus came. Here is where the story ends, or does it begin? Not with death, but with life. Not with grief, but with joy. What's most ironic? The Gospel of John makes it very clear. Jesus' return to Judea to save his friend comes at a high price. For it is the raising of Lazarus that leads the religious authorities to feel so threatened that they put in plan the motions to put Jesus to death. Last Friday, I received a phone call I knew was coming. Bill Hanford, God rest his soul, a parishioner of my last parish, and husband of Mona, had died. The emotion contained in my mentor's voice surprised me. No sadness, only joy. Mona said, Marjorie, I am so thankful. God made sure I didn't leave Bill's side. I was holding his hand when he died. At his funeral, we are going to party. Straight up the Dixie Band and sing when the saints go marching in. Then end with a rousing chorus of you leading this little light of mine. His Light shines on in us. Oscar Hammerstein wrote, I know the world is filled with troubles and many injustices, but reality is as beautiful as it is ugly. I think it is important to sing about beautiful mornings as it is to talk about slums. I just couldn't write anything without hope in it. This day, we resurrect upon our lips the names of saints of those we've loved who've gone to rest in heaven above. So easy to breathe, those who took their leave from us to join with God. But Christ breaks in, says, rise up, follow me, be free from sadness, walk from darkness into light, you still alive, still baptized, teach and preach. Sing the song I placed within your heart that only you can sing. And have no doubt, God's light burns bright, moves in and out.